Hello, my name is Adam Maloof and welcome to my new handpan tutorial series. This first episode is entitled, What the Ding? The ding is the center note of the instrument. Sometimes the ding will be an Audi called an Apex. Sometimes the ding will be an Inny called an Inpex. This is an Apex ding. When I play the ding, I'm going to approach it with my thumbs because my thumb is the biggest of my five fingers, fattest really, and it's able to produce the roundest and um, most pleasant sound out of the ding of all of my fingers. So when I strike the ding with my thumb, I aim for between my knuckle and the tip of my thumb, just this sweet spot right in the middle where it's very soft and cushiony. If you play too low, you'll get the attack from the knuckle. And if you play too high, then you won't be able to produce enough sound. So right in the middle is the sweet spot. Placement on the tone field or on the ding is very important when playing the handpan. So I try and approach playing the ding as I'm playing on the side that is nearest the hand that is striking the note. So right here is the area of the ding that is nearest my hand that is striking. So this is where I'm going to strike. And I'm just on the curve of the ding, just off, not directly on top and not all the way down onto the side or on the tone field, but just on the, on the curve. I also never cross the tone field when I play. I always play on the side that is nearest the hand that is striking the note. The next thing to keep in mind is the rotation of the wrist. It's kind of like turning a doorknob. And one thing to keep in mind is that when you make this motion, my hand is rotating around the index finger. The index finger is basically staying in the same place as the hand rotates around it. Try that with both hands and just get a feel for what that feels like. A nice loose position of the hand and keep that in mind when you strike. The last thing to keep in mind is that my hand is pretty much open. I've got this soft J shape in my finger. That's the positioning, so that you're not open all the way, and you're also not closed trying to create that sound. A nice soft J. So before we do an exercise, I just want you to move the pan around like this as you play the ding and try and find the sweet spot. The sweet spot is where the instrument is resonating the most and produces the most beautiful tone. So we'll turn it. Right here is the sweet spot for my instrument. some of the sympathetic vibrations from the outside tones and the overtones that are built into the handpan. So finally, let's do an exercise. This is called eight on a hand. So we'll play eight notes on the right hand and then we'll play eight notes on the left hand. And one thing to keep in mind when you do this stroke is to lift. So I'll actually say lift when my note, when my finger strikes the note. Lift, 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 lift.
it's important to practice slow so that you can get used to the full tone produced by the instrument. 